guys, it's your girl Lily. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Kwale mboni wageni. My name is Lillian. Thank you so much for stopping by over here. Karibu sana kwenye show yetu ya kijanja ya Lily Show ambayo every week na post new content and here tunaongelea kuhusu mapenzi, tunaongelea kuhusu maisha, mitindo, fashion, makeup and all that ndio tevi kondani ya hii channel. So usiondoke bila kusubscribe, right? Kama you a new person over here, usiondoke bila kusubscribe. And kwa wale ambao mnapita kila siku bila kusubscribe, what are you waiting for, huh? And by the way, guys, thank you so much for 800 subscribers on my channel. Like really, guys? Oh, oh this love is so overwhelming like, you know? <laughs> Thank you so much guys. God bless you all. Ambao mnaenda kusubscribe, kushare my video, ku like and comment. Mungu awabariki sana 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 and welcome back to my channel and let's see what do we have today in our content. Ding ding. Okay. As we are back, leo nataka tuongelee kitu ambacho I guess watu wengi kinakuwa kinawachosha au kinawasumbua au hawajui namna gani wafanye ili waweze kuwa na hiyo kitu. Ndiyo kuna watu ambao they used to ask me like Lily you have so much of confidence why are you so confident and all that kwa nini unakuwa na ujasiri fulani hivi wa kujaribu kufanya kitu like you are go get and all that how do you achieve that inakuwaje mpaka unaweza kuwa na ujasiri the confidence that you have mimi ningesema jamani mbona mwenyewe anajiona kama sina confidence you know like sina confidence ya hivyo lakini i can just share some tips ambazo mimi zilinisaidia zika in like zika zika boost my ability ya kuwa na confidence so kitu cha kwanza utaka kuwa na confidence usitake kukubalika na kila mtu ujiamini mwenyewe cha kwanza inabidi ujiamini kwamba if i do this this is the right thing if i don't but it's not the right thing yani unatakiwa ujikubali we mwenyewe we kwanza kabla ya kusubiri mtu mwingine akukubali usitake mtu aku yani watu wakufanye ushinde kufanya kitu fulani eti kisa naogopa mtu fulani atanifikiria vibaya au usitake kusubiria watu wa validate what you want to do yani kuna vitu ambavyo unatamani kuvifanya ila unafikiria hivi sijui Aisha atanichukuliaje au sijui ana atasemaje au sijui nani atasemaje usisubirie mtu akwambie this is the right thing to do ah ah usiogope sijui atasema kitu gani hebu fanya kwanza fanya afu uone ataongea nini at the end of the day hata akiongea that's their problem that's their shit like yes nishafanya that was my decision to do nimeamua kufanya hiki kwa sababu nilikuwa nataka and then your opinion doesn't matter to me unaona so kuna watu ambao wanatamani wana sana kuwa na confidence lakini wanapenda sana kuona mtu fulani kasema nini au kufuatilia mtu fulani kafanya nini unajua kuna kipindi ambacho when ni kwa chuo kuna watu wanaweza wanataka kufanya kitu unapata comments za ajabu unywa isa page ukija dm matusi unaweza kukuta vitu ambavyo havieleweki mtu anakuambia and nikaje kujifunza kwamba maoni ya watu yapo tu ukifanya kitu kizuri people talk ukifanya kibaya people talk ukifanya basi cha size ya kitu bado people still talk unaona huwezi kumfunga mtu mdomo mawazo yao wewe hayasikuumize kichwa jiamini kwanza wewe kwa hiyo in any decision that you want to do lazima uwe na confidence na ukitaka kuwa na confidence inabidi ujiamini kwa hiyo amini kwamba what you want to do is the right thing usiogope sasa so, kuna huo mfano nilisikiaga ni kuna mtu aliyotoa mfano kwamba kama mtu akija kukwambia eh Yaani wewe kichwa chako kimekaa vibaya sijui kimekaaje. Ukisema ufikirie kwamba kwa ana maisha yangu ni kibaya. Kwa ukisema ukikubali kwamba kichwa chako ni kibaya lazima itakuumiza siku zote. Lakini kwamba ukiwa umeshajikubali this is my head jamani iko hivi. Why should I should I even kwanza kuangaika eh ukakijikubali mwenyewe and then you'll see everything is okay that's fine lakini ukisema ukifikiria in a negative way what the person said lazima itakuumiza moyoni kwa hiyo kabla ya kufanya chochote make sure kwamba unajikubali wewe mwenyewe jikubali the way you are kubali kila chochote mtu anachokisema potezea usisikilize masikio yako wewe unasikiliza what inside you ama matatizo ya watu nje kuongea people will still talk wherever any kitu kitu ambacho utakifanya mtu ataongea no matter what so don't be scared of doing what you are thinking it's right eti kisa mtu fulani ataongea mm -mm. stop that mentality and it's not good so kama unataka kuwa na confident 100% make sure kwamba unajikubali mwenyewe yani you you are not seeking for validation from any person like that's it nasikia mtu asikuchanganye wala asikuvuruge ukasema mimi namsikiliza mtu fulani nasikiliza what people are saying at the end of the day you will never reach anywhere like are we together ladies gang are we together yeah that's the first thing 
lakini ambacho unatakiwa kufanya ili kuwa na confidence in yourself is to not comparing yourself with other people. Jitahidi sana kwenye maisha yako, you stop comparing like mtu fulani kafanya kitu fulani ukaona mm, na mimi nileta nikafanya nikamzidi. Ukaenda ukifanya lakini ukaboronga unaona. Uh, ukasema labda umeingia Instagram kaangalia picha ya mtu, mtu kavango fulani ukasema mm, yule naye kan anjo naenda kapendeza. Sio chakula chako nimetoka vizuri sana. Ngoja mimi ndo the same clothes. Ndio kutafuta nguo ile 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 ndo mwanzo wako unaenda unaivaa. Sasa unapokuja kuvaa wewe, ukuje kujicompare na yeye, yeye anaikuta amependeza zaidi. Mwanzo wako anapata like 10,000, hala hajatumia many nani efforts kubwa kama wewe ambao ulimwangalia kwanza ukaanza kukompare na wewe ukaenda kunongo ile ile. Alafu bora ungekuwa unavaa kwa niye nje au unavaa ili ukompare. Yaani ujione mimi na yeye nikapendeza. At the end of the day kapata comments 10,000, kapata comments 5. Naona hapo inakuja kuja kitu kwamba the fact that umejicompare na yule mtu inaondoa ile confidence ambayo you have inside yourself. Kwa well, from now on if you're watching this video my ladies out here the lilies gang the queens attain to compare do not compare yourself with anyone. Mungu ametumba kila mtu kitofauti na ametumba in in a unique way everybody everybody has a unique something inside them. Kwa hiyo stop comparing with anyone. Kuna vitu unaweza kuona nataka kufanya lakini unaogopa cause Unataka kujikompea na mtu fulani, unaona? Kitendo cha kwanza kujilinganisha mtu fulani kafanya hiki na mimi nikafanya hiki lakini mwisho wa siku yeye kafanya vizuri ndio kinakuja kinakuumiza ndani inatoa ile confidence within you, unaona? Na siku zote ambapo ukiendelea kujikompea with people lazima uta any they say when you compare yourself with people you must lose and in either way hamna any way ambayo unaweza kujikompea with people and then you can win there is nothing like that you must lose so make sure that you are not comparing yourself with anyone so afu siku zote fanya hiki jiambia mwenyewe mimi i always say kwamba i always want to be better than the way i was yesterday unaona kwa hiyo huwa anajiangalia lile ambayo ilikuwa 2010 na lile ambayo ilikuwa 2019 that's my competition like I'm checking myself back then nilikuwa nafanya nini nilikuwa naongea nini nilikuwa nafanya vitu gani na vaaje naongea vitu gani what was my action kwenye vitu kama mtu akinifanyia kitu au kosa what how do i react unaona that's my competition i see myself like Lillian is my competition i compete within myself to make myself better unaona nataka kujicompete with myself in jinue ili niwe mtu fulani ambaye i want to be unaona kwa hiyo nikifika 2015 i mean 2025 huko i just See, Lily 2019 alikuwa hivi. 2015 I mean 25 yukoje? Unaona? Kwa hiyo I'll just compete with myself. Do not compete with people outside here. Siku zote lazima utaendelea kupata maumivu ya moyo and then the confidence that you have in yourself itapotea. Sawa so, my ladies, people and my Lily's gang. Sawa. So, stop comparing with yourself. Afiki to chat ambacho unatakiwa ufanye na confidence penda kila kitu ambacho ni unique from yourself. Unajua kuna kitu ambacho kiko tofauti na mtu yoyote ambacho mimi kama nikisema Lily akikaa kiongea kuhusu laptop kweli yeye unaweza kusikiliza topic zake ukasikia ra. Kwa hiyo ki embrace that thing, that unique thing that you have inside yourself. Embrace it. Unajua ukijivunia uki, uki, what you have lazima siku zote utakuwa na confidence hata ukiona kifanya iko kitu utakifanya kwa mara nyingi na mara nyingi unaendelea kukifanya unaendelea kukifanya in a better way and then inakupa confidence unaona lakini kama unafanya kitu ambacho kinakufanya uwe tofauti afu unafanya in a very normal way that's bullshit unaona kwa kitu ambacho ni unique inside you kifanye in a better way always always stop kufanya vitu in a normal way be extra yani make sure that kitu ambacho ni kizuri ndani yako mimi nasema macho yangu mazuri lips zangu nzuri kwa hiyo every day i go extra with my eyes and my lips unaona or maybe i can say nikivaa mtu mwingine anataka kusema mimi miguu yangu mzuri jamani i'll go extra with them nitavaa vitu vizuri nitavaa nini nitavaa nini mimi nini nini unaona au mimi when i speak about love i I know people understand something out of it. Kwa hiyo mimi naongelea kuhusu mapenzi kwa sababu I know this is the unique thing that I have. Kwa hiyo kuna mtu mwingine ambaye unaweza kumpa camera and wambe action talk about love they can't. Unaona? Kwa hiyo that's the difference between me and them and that's the unique thing that I have. Kwa hiyo I make sure kwamba najivunia kile kitu. Na kama nikijivunia I'll do it in a better way, in a better way and then I'll have that confidence I need. Unaona? And they say kuna this world they say no one is you and that is your power. No one no one is you. Yaani wewe hamna mtu mwingine duniani hata Mungu akiumba watu milioni ngapi na watu mawengi mawengi mawengi. There will never happen that kuna mtu anefanana. Hata ukitoka hapo ukaenda Marekani ukaenda wapi? There is no one like you. Ndio maana wasa Mungu ametumba kwa mfano wake tofauti sana. 
Kwa hiyo in that way embrace what you have. Embrace kitu ambacho unakijua kwamba it's very better than anyone. Embrace it, love it. Naona, jipende wewe and kipende kile kitu ambacho unajua kwamba it's unique. Um and pia they also say kwamba kwenye vitu ambavyo vinakunyima confidence kama unaona ukaisi kitu fulani mimi jamani sikipendi au labda si kuna mwili wangu kuna kitu ambacho sikipendi unaona they say kwamba don't focus on that thing kitu ambacho unahisi kwamba hukipendi kitakufanya ukose confidence unajua mimi i remember kuna kipindi nilipopataga ajali 2016 nikawa nimefanywa e surgery ya mkononi if you can see it unaona the surgery i had a surgery nika shonwa news almost 22 news is in my hand nika from that time nakumbuka nilikuwa sipendi kuvaa mashati mafupi yani kutembea na hivi kwa sababu nilikuwa sipendi hii alama inavyoonekana mkononi mwangu ikawa inanyima confidence unajua most of the places nilikuwa naenda na vaa long sleeves so as people are quite like kwa nini yana vaa long sleeves most of the time ni kwa sababu nilikuwa sipendi how my hand was looking Alafu nikifikiria you know mbaya nafikia hata kwamba I want to uchora tattoo mkononi ili nifiche ile kovu unaona so the time that ingasema hivi kwa nini I don't have that confidence in myself like this is my body you know this is my body I have to accept it yes I had a, an accident in Kaumia and then deal nikashona news and then mkononi kawa ile kwa nini is accept the thing that I have it's already in my hand kwa nini kwa hiyo nataka nikakate mkono yeye nipoteni siwe na mkono au nifanye nini this is my hand already what should i do to have that confidence back nianze kuvaa mashati ya mikono mifupi nianze kuvaa singlet and the, all that unaona kwa hiyo nikaa naanza kujifunza what should i do what should i do lord and then god gave me this confidence inside myself like that it's you lilian that is your hand kwa hiyo the time that i stopped focusing on this kovu in my hand nikapata my confidence back unaona. Kwa hiyo when there's something inside your body that you don't like, do not focus on them. Do not stop focusing on that thing. Kwa sababu it is there. It will always be there. You should accept it and then move on with your life. Stop focusing on things ambazo unajua kabisa vitakushusha confidence yako. Kuna kipindi nilikuwa siwezi hata kumsalimia mtu kwa mkono nikiwa nimevaa singlet. Kwa sababu unaona kama ataniangalia and then it be weird like what happened? So many questions like damn, you know. It happened that time nilikuwa najifikiria like oh my lord what is what is happening to me you know nakuja kupata makovu utuzimani you know that thing how it spills eh? unaona kwa hiyo the time that i stopped focusing on kovu mkononi mwangu and then i focus how god protected me from the ajali how god made me to be like have my hand again unajua nikaanza kufocus on the good thing about my hand sababu unaweza kupata ajali mkono katika ukaondoka kabisa wote lakini mimi nimepata ajali nikashona tu news and then it turned it ended like that asa imagine kama ningepata ajali na ndio ningechona news of maybe nikawa nimekufa au nini na vitu kama hivyo kwa hiyo i started focusing on the good thing nikaacha ku focus on the negative things of which negative things natoka kwa shetani shetani ndio anakuja kukuletea zile negative things so as you can feel bad about yourself lakini the time that you stop focusing on the negative things obviously you'll see the good thing on it kwa the time nikaanza kupotezea all the negative things no i'm not thinking about negative i mean negative things in my life nikaanza kufikiria on the good thing and then good things started happen like that unaona kwa siku zote kwenye maisha yako make sure that everything you do una focus on improving yourself negative issues negative things what people are speaking about you what people are saying about you au kitu gani ambacho unakiona hakiko sawa usikifikirie sana kwa sababu huko ndio ambacho kitakuja kuondoa confidence yako and remember one thing they say that nobody is you and that's your power and also they say everybody has their opinion unaona kwa hiyo nobody opinion matters and than your own opinion kwa your opinion matters more than what people say about you. Unaona? Kwa don't even think about what people say about you. Kwa think of the positive things in your life. Ukiondoa all those negative things lazima utakuwa na confidence back. Unaona? People talk, people say well, vyote hivyo vitatokea lakini at the end of the day make sure that you create something positive inside your heart and then you deal with the positive things and stop dealing with the negative things. So Um for today let me just end here and this bit will be tattoo I hope you guys mtakuwa mmeelewa number summarize with how to be confident cha kwanza inabidi ujiamini mwenyewe cha pili usijimganishe na mtu yoyote na cha tatu inabidi ukifurahie au ukimbrace what the best thing about you what you can do best sawa so, if you can sing sing well 
kaa sehemu yote imba cheza kama you can dance dance well if you can write well write well andika tunga vitabu fanya nini unaona vitu kama hivyo usifoka sana on negative issues unaona naweza ngatolea mifano ya watu ambao ni marafiki zangu ambao nimeweza nao chuo wengine wanasoma kama Gertrude Mligo ambaye anatunga vitabu sasa hivi she's the best woman you know she's doing her best kwa sababu amekuja kujua kwamba writing is the best thing that she can do kwa ana impress it by making different books kwa hiyo sasa vitabu ana kitabu kimoja tayari amekitoa na Pascal Shaija the best makeup artist kwa sababu amejua that's the best thing that she has and then she's working on it and now she's the best makeup artist ever you know and you all know that me makeup yangu na kunyoga sana Rosemary yeah that is so those are the three people ambao na naweza kuwatolea mfano ambao wame wamejua what they are doing best and then waka wakaweka nguvu kwenye vitu vyao and then they are confident about it and then they are doing best right now so make sure that you focus on the good thing and forget about the bad things people talk even if you do good bad they'll still talk ziba masikio yako have the confidence inside yourself create it yeah mini so especially my queens queens out here kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo vina kuhakikisha tamaa wasichana tuna tunaonekana kwamba watu ambao hatu we don't they don't value us lakini when the time that you start valuing yourself people start valuing you and that it make sure that you value yourself first kabla hujafikiria au kwa hisi kwamba society they of value kabla hujajivalue yourself uh -uh. create a value in yourself first and then na utakuja ku value the way you are so so my little and my sweetest and my beautiful ladies and queens out here I love you so much. Have a very, I mean, a very, very blessed moment. It's okay, Lily, and I'm signing out. Let's meet another time. God bless you all for your always and everyday support. Bye, bye.